Hi, welcome back to Charles Space 944. Now, yesterday I watched a video by Kenneth Reese. If you haven't seen it, watch it, I've shown his collection, so I thought I'd show mine as well. Um, he's got quite a bit more than I have, but anyway, I thought I'd show, show you what I do have anyway. Um, it's just me today, young Alex is at school. And this is most of the stuff I have. I do have some other bits in the shed, etc. But this, uh, and also, I don't have a whole room, I have like a corner in my room. So uh, we'll go through it all, we've got quite a few bits laid out everywhere. Um, we'll go all through it all in a minute. Yeah, so um, I've sort of spread out a bit more today. So we'll just go over here, let's start. We'll just start down the ground here first. So here's our Mark III stem and our MG53. Now, when I've done this last time, someone commented it's a little, little bit of a cheat to have an MG53 in a World War II collection. It probably is, but to be honest with you, I can't afford an MG42, so that I'll have to do for the moment. Um, here's a, I love, I love this gun. Here's our Maxim, 1944 dated World War II Maxim machine gun, Russian one. Very nice. Let's go over let's have a look here, what we've got here. So, a bit of family history there. There's my granddad's medals. Well, most of them, unfortunately, I lost one when I was a child. Um, there's my great granddad's medals. Which is my great granddad. Uh, there's me when I was doing reenactment when I was younger. Um, what we've got here, we've got a Russian captured K98 next door to an Italian Carcano. We have a MG34 spare barrel case. We have various um, shell cases. We've got, I can see, we've got a Pack 38 one there. We've got a US uh, 40 millimeter Bofus one. Uh, I've got there a couple of um, German hand grenade heads. They're both relic ones. They're both found uh, near Berlin. Some 20 mil shell cases there as well, German ones. All right, a couple of uh, Canary 8 ammo pouches. A couple of uh, M41 bread bags. A MG13 magazine bandolier. A 251 half track wheel, some shell cases there. What we've got, we've got a bit of a job to see. Sorry, I can't get everything out. I'll just get the back first. Back behind there's a is the ammunition tin, the magazine for the uh, 20 mil flat rounds, German again. Um, we've got a pack 40 round there, relic one from Celo Heights. Beside it is also from Celo Heights, is a T-34 tank round, it's a bit squished, a bit of a job to see. Right, let's go around a little bit. Let's go up actually, should we go up, there we go. So, Vietnam era American shirt. Um, uh, helmet is using Fury, the camouflage one. Below it there, that is a Luftwaffe, what remains of a double deck with M-35. British gas mask at the back. Uh, one of our <laughs> many, uh, uh, we like these um, remote control tanks, me and Alex. So there's a couple of tanks here you can see. German jerry can. Find that there's an M42 German greatcoat. Um, let's look at the back here still, yeah. So there's a M40. Basically, it's, not, it's actually, it's the, um, like the raincoat. So it looks like a greatcoat, but it's actually waterproof. That belonged to Andreas Losch, who's a SS medic. Another American Vietnam era shirt. A uh, World War II German private purchase summer tunic for like um, southern Russia, something like that had been used. Right, let's go down a bit now. Oh, so a little rucksack at the back there. And let's see if we can get in here a bit better this time, because last time I had this shut this. Right, so here we have an M43 cap, M42 single decal. M30 gas mask, some other paperwork, bits and pieces, lots of my infantry assault badges, etc. Another M43 cap, a parade helmet, a, oh, what was that, it's an M42, I can't see, but yeah, it's an M42, another single deck of M42, another M30 gas mask, some more paperwork, etc. A M35 helmet. Um, M42 cap that's been converted to an M43, M38 gas mask, Iron Cross, 
etc some youth badges now down the bottom here all these like all them bits in there which is a job to see where well, if i get a bit closer for they all belong to andreas loss just a picture in there he's an ss medic so, there's bits and pieces there right here we have a german m42 helmet a single decal m40 m35 combat one I've definitely been painted over, but very nice original helmet. M40 single decal. British Army Mark III helmet. Some the gas mask. A couple of uh, Ken A8 bayonets. Blank Farm P38. Let's just have a little bit and piece there. Flak 88 shell. But the shell case is, a, is an original Flak 88 one there. The head is just uh, a resin replica, which we need to paint this year. A um, couple of uh, 3.7 centimeter rounds here. One's for the Flak 18, and one is for the Pack 36. Some German armbands, bit of a job to see because the tunes over. Some insignia, sorry, got the light in the background there. Uh, single decal M40. Some more Ken 8 pouches, lift off ones there. Um, just have a little bits and pieces. M35 Army. Some belts and buckles. Mainly the Army, one little from there. Two medals. This is just your warm out. Should I say that? Actually, so it's table, isn't it? So you, you, the, that's your warm out crosses there. Different variations of it. Kriegsmen M35. Army M40. Another army, it's an M42 with the decal. Good old Zout bomb. Luftwaffe, I don't get a bit better. Luftwaffe M43. Got some other felmets here. We've got from left to right, you've got officers' felmets, and you've got a Luftwaffe one. Then tropical, then coastal artillery. And this is standard army felmets there. Nice big East German flag at the back. Yeah, so I do collect a bit of. um post-war military as well um haven't got that all out on display today but got to try and show most of my world war ii stuff but i like these german flags it's a cool flag this german one um underneath the hat is a rubber can 98 from the film fury we have a mg34 again this is a rubber prop and that's quite nice kps 43 this is a post-war manufactured polish version Got a replica Sten, replica MP40. Another German helmet. This is a reissue M40 helmet. Good old German binoculars, 6x30s. Couple of uh, German dress bayonets. Uh, um, German helmet book we got recently. That's really nice. That is a little Japanese personal effects bag. Um, some ammo cans. Different ones, uh, there's all SS belt buckle, plenty of army belt buckles scattered about as well. We've got your butter dish or fat dish, some Italian um, bandages, MP44, which is another replica, it looks quite cool. Some MG13 magazines. 50 round belt of German 7.2 ammunition. They're actually wartime dated, those ones. Uh, Relic M35 helmet from Stalingrad. It's Klaus. Another ammo can that's a Czech one. That's a ZB37. Yeah, so I think that's good. I think that shows you. I mean, it's a bit quick, probably, but you get an idea of obviously stuff I've got. I didn't say so I've got the World War I NCO sword. Quite nice, and at the back there is a uh, airsoft can on the Yeah, so hopefully that'll give you an idea of what we've got in our collection. Well, my side, I say it's most of it. I do some stuff put in the shed, etc., because I can't keep everything indoors, unfortunately. I've only got this one corner, so normally all has to sit within this corner here. I've just spread out a little bit just for the video. Um, Alex got all his stuff upstairs. Which, again, one day we keep saying we're going to do, but he's got so much stuff, it's going to take ages just to get it all out. Anyway, that's it for me today. I hope you enjoyed looking at what I've got in my collection. And thank you very much. And uh, 
Again, bye.